Hi everyone, in this episode of Flip Teacher Professional Learning, I'm going to show you a way to utilize Mathletics in such a way that I feel it gives you a little bit, a little bit more control, uh, finesse over what activities the students have access to. There's a few reasons for doing this, and I'll go through those as we get into the video. So first of all, log into Mathletics, of course, go to Courses. This is the typical layout that you'll see. You'll have your class, different groups, a list of all the courses uh, sorry, the topics in the course down the left hand side and typically you'll be assigned the a, a particular curriculum course. Now to create a, a new course simply click on create new course, select the year group, give it a name and what that does is it creates within your school a course for you. Normally it would be blank um, I've already created a course and I've started adding some activities to that. Now the reason that I'm doing this is that when I'm introducing negative numbers to the students I want them to be doing uh, activities in a particular order as we work through particular concepts. Um, it's very very easy to add extra activities as we go along live on the fly in the classroom for those students who are getting things a little bit quicker. Um, but it means that the students who are struggling with a concept um, are not overwhelmed by a huge list of activities that they feel like they have to get through. Uh, they can focus on one or two as they go. It also means that you don't have to have six or seven different groups and assigning different activities to different groups. It just gives you a little bit more fine control and I feel that it saves you a bit of time. So quite simply, I've got my topics down the side and my activities here. So let's have a look at what, we're, what we've got going on. So I've got two topics uh, on the go at the moment, introducing negative numbers and fractions. Uh, so quite simply, let's edit this course. So I'm going to click on edit this course. Now it now changes into edit mode. So at the moment I can either add a topic, rename a topic, or I can quite simply edit the topic. So I want to remove some activities from my fractions course. I feel I've got too many in there at the moment. So all I need to do is click on the fractions topic, find the activity I want to remove. I want to remove this one here and drag it down to the bin. Very simple. It's now gone. Done deal. That's how you remove an, a, 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 an activity from a topic. Now to add an activity to a topic is also very simple. The easiest way that I find to do it is to come over here and to search for activities by outcome. Make sure you're in Australia, of course. New South Wales, uh, whatever stage you're in, and then find the outcome that you're working with. Uh, so we're working within the number outcome, uh, fractions and decimals. It then gives me all of the activities for stage three for fractions and decimals. Now obviously we're not doing decimals at this point in time, we're just doing fractions. Um, so this gives me a little bit more control because my students won't be seeing decimal activities. Um, if all I have to do if I want to put in an activity is simply click, drag it across. I can drag it to a particular position in the, in the topic so that students encounter that activity at a particular point in the unit. Done. It now disappears from this list to show that it's already been used and appears over here. So quite common, very common to have uh, students at multiple ability levels. So I'm teaching in stage three, but I might have some students teaching uh, that are learning at a stage two level. That's fine. All I have to do is click on stage two, refind the fractions section, and there's the fractions activities for stage two, drag and drop. And for stage four, if you've got some students that are working at a higher level, at a stage four level, it's the same process. Stage four, find the fractions activities, find the activity you want, drag and drop. You can still go through the same process, right click and preview the activity, click on the guide to see how that activity is supposed to work. Uh, this works for me, I feel it gives me a little bit more control over what the class are doing. Try it out, see how you go. Thanks for watching.